So I started off this morning with going to church at sunset because my daughter has been going to services there on Wednesday nights when she started ballet, uh, when she moved up to the next level, she couldn't get home in time for services on Wednesday. So she started going to sunset on Wednesday nights and she just stuck and became a big part of their youth group. And they were doing a senior lunch today where they honored all their seniors. It was really neat the way that they did it. And if you watched the live, I mean, it was like two hours long. So probably <laughs> you didn't watch it. What they do is they have somebody ask, or they have each of the seniors ask someone who has been um, an influence of some sort in their life. And the senior asks someone to represent and, and give a blessing over them as they graduate. And Ella chose someone who she's never met before. And the the person that she chose was really blessed by that. I told Ella was like, you know, she she can't even come and do that and and but she could she could write it and I said, "Well, you should at least tell her that you're the one that you thought of because I think that that will mean a lot to her." And so Ella did. And of course it did mean something to her and she in turn accepted and wrote a blessing for Ella. And so this brought a couple things to mind for me. One of them was, what do people see in you? What kind of influence do you have over people either that you know or you don't know? Because Ella's only seen things that she posted on uh, social media. And the same thing for this person, because she hasn't met Ella in person. She's only seen what Ella has posted on social media. And so it kind of gives you both perspectives on thinking about that. You know, what are you putting out there and what are they putting out there? Because she did a really good job of describing Ella and the way that, you know, her heart is and the things that she thinks and, and her personality just by looking at social media. And the same thing for her, for Ella, is that she was blessed by this person, by the things that they post on social media. So we need to be really careful about the things that we, we put out there. What kind of um, vibe are you putting out there for other people? Are you being a good influence on other people? And so I looked for an article on things like that. So how, um, like if you're influencing people and I found this article by, um, Van Edwards and it was scientifically proven steps to increase your influence. And I just chose two of hers. And then, um, if you're interested in the other five, there were seven of them, then shoot me a message and I'll get those to you. And so two of them that I chose, um, are particular in these two incidences. So the first one was to connect with people emotionally. So Van Edwards said that what she discovered was that if, um, if you want to intrigue, intrigue and influence people, you have to get their dopamine pumping. And so she based her research on the findings of a molecular biologist, and it said that dopamine stimulates the pleasure reward area in the brain that makes people feel all warm and fuzzy. So if you want to influence somebody, you need to stimulate that part of the brain. And a good way to do that is by having conversation starters handy when you talk to people, um, things that you've posted on Facebook or Instagram, in this case, were the things that um, worked for them. But um, two of the conversation starters that this lady um, suggested were, what was the best part of your day and the worst part of your day? And then the other one was, what personal passion project are you currently working on right now? That's a really big, deep one. And then the second um, scientific step was tell a story. So she said that people's brains are almost hardwired for stories. So when people hear stories, they can, they can feel as if they're right there with the other person. So it's like the listeners experiencing the story, um, along with the narrator. And when someone tells a story, the brain of the other person may be in sync with the storyteller. So if you can stimulate the other person's brain with a story, you can in fact get that person on your side. So those are just two of the scientifically proven steps that they had. Uh, there were five more. So if you would like those, shoot me a message and I will see you again tomorrow.